it looks really sweet in my opinion. It's kind of how small block Fords should be coming, I think. There's not gonna be any other engine that has a bracket just like that. Welcome back everybody. We are working more on the engine, trying to get the distributor's ignition kind of started to get more buttoned up. So I've moved from the engine stand that it was last on to this uh, spare K member that I had. It was looking a little um, saggy on the engine stand. It was starting to bow down on the, the front and it was looking a little not safe. I didn't want to risk uh, the engine stand breaking and the engine falling on the floor or anything. So I got it mounted up here. Um, in the last video, if you missed it i'll have a link up here i have a link at the end of the video but i talked about the coils that i am doing for this uh setup and i'm going with the godzilla coils so these are the coils off the 7.3 liter gas engine they are look like this they look similar to a lot of the other coils that you've seen they are actually uh two pins in there but it's a three pin connector uh, so the connector that I got is from uh, Ballinger Motorsports. I can put the, the part number up right down here for you. That will mount, make it mount up right to this. Uh, so this is the coil. So my plan is to kind of just mount it on top of the, the valve covers, like a lot of the other coil on plug, uh, coil near plug setups that you've seen. Just these, uh, these valve covers, so as I had mentioned previously, possibly I had the tall valve covers and I was switching out to different ones. This is the reason why to be able to mount these uh, coils on the top. So I got rid of the tall valve covers. I went to some trick flow ones that still seem to have plenty of clearance for the uh, roller rockers that are in here, which I believe are 1.6s. Yep, 1.6 uh, roller rockers but plenty of clearance, everything, I've rotated the engine over, it all clears. So I need to figure out how to mount this on top of the coil. So I could go pretty simple and just weld on some bolt pads onto these and be done with it, but I don't really want to mess up these pretty new valve covers with doing some grinding and welding and I have never really welded aluminum. I do have a a TIG welder now, but I haven't really practiced, so I'm not confident in uh, my welding at this point, but I just wanna do like a bolt-on solution. I think it will look a lot better and it will be more universal. So the plan is, is to make uh, basically a plate that will bolt over top of the, the valve cover. So I'll have some standoffs that come off of the studs and it will just bolt onto that and that will hold all four of these coils. So let's get into designing it. So I just went back to old school CAD, got a piece of cardboard, and I just drew out the valve cover on here. So I drew out, I traced out the valve cover, did all the holes, the measurements, and then I took this and went into Fusion 360 and made up the the base of the valve cover to where I would be doing all my standoffs. So then I can start designing my plate over top of that and I know all my holes are the same and will bolt up directly onto the valve cover. Then after having my model kind of drawn up, I printed it out and just taped it onto some cardboard. So then I can come and start test fitting things up on here, kind of seeing how it will fit, seeing how my coils will kind of look on here. And as you can see, I've already started making some, uh, some notes on here of things that I need to change or check and stuff like that. So with those changes, let's hop back into Fusion 360 and put those in. All right, after doing those changes, I did another printout, but this time I glued it onto the cardboard, did all the cutouts, so it will look exactly like this. 
and I was able to test fit all of my coils. They all fit on there really nice. I was able to go in here and kind of line everything up, see how it will fit. Uh, in a previous revision, I had figured out that I kind of need a notch right here for the, the oil uh, dipstick, because this is the same from left to right, so I can use it on both sides. Uh, but I just need to be careful of my oil dipstick also having this guy on there, it's really close. So I might have to actually have to bend this out of the way to not interfere with this, uh, this coil for uh, what the number uh, six cylinder. So with this template done, I can now uh, send this off to Send Cut Send and get a piece cut out of, I'm gonna go with aluminum because it's light, it's not gonna corrode. I don't need to worry about painting it or anything like that, but Mostly it is, uh, is light. All right, I got the, the piece in from Sen Cut Sen. So I went with a little quarter inch. I probably should have done maybe like 3 16 to be just a little bit smaller, but I wanted it to be strong. I didn't want to worry about it uh, flexing, but the coils are really light anyways. And I'm gonna have five um, points of contact on the valve cover. So basically this one up in the middle on the top is the one that I'm not using. All the other ones will have studs on them and they will go on to here. Uh, so I should have probably gone with 3 16 but this will work out great. And you can kind of see, I got a little design down here. I got RRD, so that is just kind of a, a little play on, you know, Honda Racing Development, Hoonigan uh, Racing Division. So that's stands for Reiner Racing Division. So I think it's kind of cool. It's a little, makes it a little bit more unique. It's not just a flat piece in there, or I could have put another design, but I kind of like that. It looks cool. So this will go right on top of there. The coils bolt onto this. Uh, the one thing that I have not mentioned yet is plug wires. So LS plug wires pretty much fit right onto these Godzilla coils, which is pretty sweet. And they are the perfect length to reach to the, the plugs. So this is the, the setup that I'm using is just an LS uh, plug wire. I think from uh, maybe a, like a LS1 or something like that. I don't really know the car, those cars too much, but like a late 90s, early 2000s, I think uh, Camaro is what I got these ones off of. All right, these are the standoffs that I'll be using to space off this bracket off of the valve cover. These just thread right onto the studs and these are a three inch uh, hex. These are straight off of my master car. So nothing special about them but these will bolt onto here, thread onto here, hopefully get it all the right standoff distance to where we're not touching the valve covers. And then we have plenty of room between the intake on both sides and it can easily get our coil uh, plug wires or coil wires uh, to each of the coils. So let's test fit everything up. Okay, I got everything kind of test fitted on here. It looks Really sweet in my opinion. It's kind of how small block Fords should be coming, I think. But there is just a hair of clearance uh, underneath here, maybe like an eighth of an inch or so between the, the coil and the valve cover. So that is all good. There is plenty of clearance here. Uh, I haven't quite put it on the other side, but the other side should be plenty of clearance as well. And you can see that it reaches all of the plugs just fine. You get a little bit of a bend in some of these, but I don't think it's gonna to be too much of an issue. Uh, I got plenty of room for doing the, the coil wires, which I'm still working on figuring out. I've stolen some wires from uh, like an F-150 harness that I had laying around to get some of the, the power wires and things like that. And I just need to finish routing the wires from the plug up to each of the coils. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the, the plugs, the connectors for these, I got from Ballinger uh, Motorsports. And yeah, that pretty much finishes out the, the coil setup. I really like how this looks. This is gonna be really unique on this engine. 
There's not gonna be any other engine that has a bracket just like that. There's not gonna be really that many engines, I think, that are even running like this kind of setup. I know there are people that do it, but this one is gonna be unique and that's kind of what I'm shooting for. Now, I don't think it's gonna add any extra power, but it is gonna allow really good control of the, the spark and allow this engine to rev and run really healthy, hopefully. All right, that completes out my coil mounting, putting Godzilla coils onto the Smallbox Ford. As you can see, there's still a few more things that I need to do to the, this engine. I need to get the wiring figured out or finished up and then get the, the trigger wheel mounted on there. But this is coming along really good. It's close to being ready. We just need to get the suspension figured out on the, the car. And that should be the next video that's coming out is working on the suspension again. I have been ordering a lot of parts, figuring out a lot of stuff. Uh, so I think I have an idea. I think I have a plan to get that uh, front SLA kind of figured out in the car. So that will be, I think, the next video that's going to be coming out. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Later.